Hey guys, it is Duke, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Mini Biome Survival Let's Play. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. I know I am, and I'm glad to be back for another video. So, in the last episode, we went ahead and moved everything out of our little cave hole over there and built this amazing looking story house, and I got some good response to it. So, thank you guys for liking it. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with how the design came out. And I think it fits the area quite well. I also had a comment talking about, um, you know, it's small enough that it's still mini. So this is good because, you know, I really could have gone a lot bigger with it. Uh, it's a good size. I like it. We just have this stuff out here, uh, which I will do something with in the future. Um, but if you guys just didn't know, I learned something. I learned something a couple days ago. I think it's two days now. Um, but I didn't want to share it on Twitter or anything, so I could share it in a video first. And it's... I don't know how long this has been in the game. But if you jump... On a bed, just once... It's like, it's like jumping on a real bed. I, it's like a, a weakened slime block. And this is the coolest thing ever. And I really want to find some actual, like, use for it. But I don't know how it could possibly help me at all. Because I don't know anything about redstone. Um, and I assume you'd probably want to work redstone if you wanted to work um, with that coolness. You know, because it's just sort of one of those things that, personally, I have no use for. Other than, hey, it's it's in the game sort deal. Um, but I'm sure other people could find use for it, which is, which is going to be really cool if they do. Uh, let's just chuck all that in there. We've got some dark oak, by the way, as you can see. Um, oh, we put that on the wrong... It needs to go down here. There we go. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop. And, uh, raw beef goes in this chest. You know, we're still getting things sorted out. I, I know where everything is for the most part. But then we have things like sticks. I think I'll just put in this chest. This is like my wood stuff. <laughs> That I don't really know what to do with. And then, did I have, do I have all my saplings in the chest? Yes, I do. So, we'll put, put those in there as well. Leather. Um, that's not that chest. It is my other drops chest. No, it's not. You definitely have a chest. Okay, well, this chest is just, I don't know. <laughs> at, the, at the moment, it doesn't really serve much of a purpose. And, you know, I'm realizing this storehouse is kind of... Pointless until I realize where everything is. Alright, well, I guess we need another chest for <laughs> friendly mob drops. So there we go. We have mushrooms. Mushrooms can go in here. I think that fits the best. We'll put red here and brown there. That's good. That's good. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's grab. Uh, uh oh. Hold on a second. Okay, our slime is in here. I was worried. I don't think we need that. We do need that and that and that in a stone button. And we will need some iron. Okay, iron is in that chest. All right, I'm figuring it out. Uh, what's up next? We need just some normal blocks. So let's just grab cobblestone because cobblestone's easy to work with. And we will need some just normal redstone. So let's grab... Wow, okay. We could just grab like three blocks. That should get us through the whole whole deal. That is not a crafting table. That is, though. Okay, there we go. Now we need to make... Oh, shoot. Yeah, I know how to do that. That's pretty... It's pretty easy. Do we need red... Do we need iron? <laughs> oh, yeah, trust me, guys. I know exactly what I'm doing. Immediately forgets how to make a... Can I make a piston? I can! Alright, I did remember the recipe. Wow, I'm not as bad at the game as I thought I was. There's what we need. Sticky piston. Perfect. And we'll fill this bucket. 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 It's a bucket now. Okay, guys? It is a bucket? <laughs> we'll fill that bucket up with some lava. And I don't know what else we need here. We'll turn that all into redstone because that's what it's going to be. I'll have to go watch Mumbo's video because I'm using Mumbo's uh, tiny mob softener for this. So that's where I'm getting everything. So if I'm forgetting something, I should probably go watch the video now before I do. Uh, yeah, I think that would be a good idea. So I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, I am down here and ready to get working. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we've cleared out the little area we need, and I will link the video down in the description below for those who are interested in it, uh, because I know some will be. Uh, it's a very old video. Uh, it was made in 2013, so hopefully it still works. Uh, I'm honestly not entirely sure. I've not checked it. So we're going to have a block right here with a button on the front of it, a redstone torch on top, uh, and then behind here we have a redstone repeater set to four ticks. I believe that is correct. We'll take that block out. This is where our sticky piston comes to play. We put it right there. Hold on, let's just break these. I don't think that'll interrupt it, but I don't I don't I don't have a clue. Cobblestone on top, right there. Uh, that is perfect. And then we have redstone right here with a repeater right here. Um, two ticks maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'll probably have to go back and watch the video. There we go. And a dispenser on a block like that. Uh, so then they will fall down. Oh. I did not mean to trigger that. I think we're good. They fall down on that. Okay. And if we have it like this. That should be... That should be perfect. Hold on. Let's go fill it with a lava. With a lava. Just a single lava. Perfect. Um, is there a way over? I think this is it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Sweet. Wow. This lava source came in really clutch right there. All right. And then we put the lava in the dispenser like that. We flick the button. Lava just for a split second. I believe that is right. But let me go check the, the two tick on the second repeater because if that's wrong, that could really screw up a lot of things. So I'll be right back okay guys so it is two ticks everything is working how it should be like I said working how it should be perfect I was actually anticipating on something screwing up just because I'm so bad at redstone and I know so little um, which is really embarrassing with the amount of time and time and time that I've put into this game over the years I mean what is it seven years now of playing this game and I still don't know what I'm doing <laughs> oh, that's awful uh, but we are going to give this little thing a test run um, I'm really hoping for something good um, and by that I mean that it should all work how it's supposed to yeah um, I, assume, I assume it will then again I can never be too certain cannot reach that from here but I can reach that. Perfect. And that is the only light source. And there's light down there, but I don't think that the game actually recognizes that. I'm pretty sure that's just an Optifine thing. So if we hold that up, we just wait this out. There's the one guy, but we'll get more plenty soon. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just chill right here. Go watch some videos. And uh, yeah, hopefully this is all going to be pretty darn cool I'll be back with you guys all right guys well we are obviously doing something wrong because they're all dying also that is crazy how much you get kicked out is it's really loud by the way if you can't tell <laughs> uh, see we're just picking up rotten flesh I don't know what's happening let's kill them all off uh, I killed some of them don't kill the rest, please. For this to work correctly. Ah, it's killing them all. No. No. Ah. Okay, a couple of them lived. Okay. It wasn't good at all. Also, I hear a baby, which is terrifying. I don't know what's going on there. So, I got maybe... Well, we've broken something, guys, and I don't know what we've broken. I do have an idea on what's broken, though, so let's light this place up. You know, I, 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 I don't really know if what I'm thinking is broken is actually broken, because I don't know how mob farms get broken. I don't know how mob farms really work, um, but I do know we were getting low spawns. 
and they were killing themselves. So we definitely have some things to fix. I think I think that's just obvious. Uh, but I I'm gonna light it up first because everything's turning out worse than it should. I th I think the mob suffer is not the problem. It would work if they didn't take damage before, but evidently they're taking damage before and that's what we need to solve so let's kill you gosh you're strong okay let's break up let's jump up here all right I think it's that yes okay so we need to jump up here we break out this we can come in from the top okay what seems to be the issue also I know there's babies yeah they're probably hurting the spawn cap. Uh, oh, they are. I know they are. Um, oh, there's only the one. Okay, you're going to hurt me unless I take care of you. We need a little flow for... That'll kill them all, right? Hold on a second. What if... What if we do a little thing like that? We need... We need a sign, really? Um... But you know, there's lava over here, isn't there? Come on, lava. Where are you? You're probably too far away. You probably won't get me what I need. Alright, he's close, though. I don't want to mine up into what we've done. It's definitely here. What level are we at? Seven, so it's... There's lava. Okay. So, <laughs> let's try to pull this off. So we have water here. If we dig that one away, it'll go seven. And that's that seven. You're not going to fall. That works. Oh, that that's perfect. It's kind of stupid. And it's definitely not the easiest way to do this, <laughs> but it'll work as our little zombie shoot off for the babies. I know, I know there's better ways to do this. I've seen people do it better. Um, but all the babies will go down here and we'll just block this off. That way other ones can't because if they did, we'd be having even more issues than we do. So we solved the baby problem. They'll all, hold on. You come, you come this way and you flow. Does it hug you against that wall? I think it does. So if we're over here, you go down. It, um, I don't know if that's going to work, actually. So we punch that one out. Will that take a baby with it? I don't know. Let's just... All right, we'll just leave that. And if we still have baby issues, then we still have baby issues. We'll try to fix them. Okay, so when they come up, they come over this edge... Oh, wait, hold on a second. That might be a big issue. They're getting that four block drop that's technically necessary for the mob softener to work correctly on the zombies. The only issue is, I think if they, if there's others here, they come up here, they bounce, and they take a full heart of damage, which is not what we want. We only want them to take a half a heart or something like that. But how else are they getting hurt? Because they're definitely getting hurt some other way. So what if... How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? We need a block there. What if we move that sign down one and move that down one as well? Oh, no, jeez. I don't want water up there, no. I feel like this is really stupid. It won't work at all. Did it destroy my button? Yeah. It's definitely down here now. It's probably in that chest. Nope. Wait a minute. Where did my button go? Interesting. 
It's on me. Okay, I have it. Okay, we're good. And that still that still works how it's intended. Okay, I still feel like we're doing something wrong. Like this, what we're trying to do right now isn't actually going to solve anything. But they come up. They get pushed. That's fine. And that doesn't trigger it this time. Interesting. It definitely triggered it the first time. Okay. Let me try this way out. I'm going to try this. Okay. And hopefully they don't all die. Right? That's, that's the main goal of today's episode. At least for now. This part of today's episode is to get this thing working how it's anticipated. And you'd think that would only take a couple moments. But if you know me, you know it's going to take a little bit longer than that. Uh, all right. Come on. Can't reach that torch. Jump. Broke you. Broke you. How are you hurting? Because you, I definitely just heard a zombie take hurting noises. Are they drowning somehow? Just a little bit? Hold on. What's at the bottom of this? There's, there's water, so... Okay, so they're still hurting when they fall. But, are they falling less now? Maybe we need to cut that one off. Yeah, that might have helped. I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I have no idea. Let's test these guys out. We're going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Also, I hear a baby. So I hope he just burns. Oh, he's on a chicken. That's not going to work. Dang, chicken zombies. Those are really going to be the issues. Because I don't have any... Oh! It works! They're burning! Yes! Oh, that is great. That is, that is phenomenal. Okay, good. So, baby zombies are sorted out. Now, it's just if this works out, then we'll all be good. <sighs> so, I will sit here with my sound off, watching a video, and I'll be back with you guys. Alright, guys. So, they're still dying. We got chickens right there. Dead. Um, still very loud. I don't know why the chickens actually made it. Because the baby zombies didn't. So that's a little interesting. Uh, let's just kill these guys all off though. Alright, so it kills some. It'll probably kill more. It killed more. This is already not looking good for us. Ah, uh, this is really disappointing. Um, also, we definitely had more zombies this time around than the others. Which means somehow... We have improved our spawns. Not by a whole lot, though. Get a potato. That's kind of cool. Um, so things are getting better. Because we are definitely getting more spawns. And wait a second. Hold up. I think I just... Uh-oh. You guys didn't go through. So maybe the baby zombie isn't working. Okay, that guy went. Huh. Well, maybe it just depends on where they sit coming down in the tube. Okay, and I hear zombies. Are you guys stuck somewhere? Oh, you're stuck right there. Alright, well, I'll just drop in. Forget it. They're not even hitting me. Okay. You're dead now. Okay, perfect. Alright, so. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Also, I don't think we're going to be able to light this all up how it should now. So, we're going to keep getting spawns. So, another thing I was noticing. Um, when I look up... Okay, well, now it's not a thing. But when I was looking up earlier, we were having many entities. Right now, uh, you can see it's at 3 out of 57, 55, 59, whatever. Um, and we're having this. It was only getting up to, like, 30. And maybe this is something... 
that I heard wrong, but a couple updates ago, maybe the most recent update, didn't they do something with if you had a whole bunch of mobs sitting in one spot, they would start hurting each other? I think that's the issue we're having. They're suffocating themselves because um, there's too many mobs in one spot. I'm pretty sure that's an actual thing. So we may have to just deal with a uh, worse mob farm than normal. But I don't really remember. I have no clue. Uh, I have actually zero recollection that that's actually in the game. But it might be. I, I heard about it at one point. And honestly, I don't do enough with mob traps to understand. I know it's not a thing on Joycraft. But then again, Joycraft is an earlier version of the game. So, yeah, if it's recent, it actually could be in the very well be in the game. Uh, but I'm pretty sure if there are entities above, we're at like Y13 when we're there. So I'm not really worried about it being surface mobs. I'm pretty sure there's a cave near us that's spawning in a ton of stuff. And I need to fix that out. But... We'll just sort of deal with it for now. The spider farm's working, the zombie farm's okay, um, but really we need to find a chicken. Not a chicken, I, was, I, I saw chickens, uh, so I said chicken. But we need a skeleton farm that would help us out tremendously. Um, hold on, why am I not... Why do I not hear noise? Okay, my sounds are all jacked up, uh, so that's kind of weird. That's really strange. What did I do? Blocks off. How did I turn that off? Is that what I meant to do? Okay, well there's that sound again. Why was that why was that all the way off? Oh, maybe it was at a hundred? No. I don't have I don't have a clue. Well, now it's a little loud. And uh, now I have to go through my sounds and make sure they're all right again. Uh, hi, chickens. Hi, escape chicken. You're dead. And you are too. All right. And we're lagging. Why did we hit a lag spike there? I don't know. Game's weird. Uh, let's see. How many chickens? Not a whole lot. But that's because I haven't been spending much time in this area. And I found out it... Oh, sweet. It might not be the shield. I mean, I think the shield's... A part of the reason, oh, chain boots, a part of the reason that we were hitting eggs on ourselves, but I also took the shield off and still had that issue, so there's definitely something I'm missing. By the way, um, we've expanded the road here, the pathways, to three wide, which is going to be their final look, and I really, really like that. Oh, I was about to talk about how, actually, we might be able to keep that. Um, it's not good, but it might add a little bit of a variant that'll be kind of cool. Um, I added a few more trees in. I think that one's new and this middle one's new. And it's definitely feeling more like a park, which is cool. Uh, but we still have a long way to go to really create that feel. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really looking forward to making everything all nice and fancy. Um, but, guys, I'm going to cut away right here and think of what we're going to do for the rest of today's episode because the zombie farm I, I need some help with that um, but I don't want to do too much else on it and there's a few more things I'd like to do but I don't know if we're going to need to go to the nether before then and we're saving the episode 10 for the nether so I don't know but we will get to work on something right after this Alright guys, I have gone ahead, picked up some wool, and I'm headed back on over to the dock, because for the rest of today's episode, we are going to be building a little bit of a throwback build. I'm actually kind of excited for this, and this is a build you guys probably forget about. I know, I kind of forget about the series as a whole. I'm not talking about this current series, I'm talking about Duke Builds Creatively. So... About a year ago, I guess I've uploaded since then of the series, um, but it is not a current series, so don't expect to see any more of it uh, because I don't have the world anymore. Uh, but about a year ago, I had an episode of my Duke Builds Creative series where I built a city flag out in uh, a little bit of a harbor sort deal. And I think the statue, it was not a statue, but it was more of a monument. I think it looked really, really cool. Uh, with a little flag on top, let you know you're coming to the city. It sort of looked like a, a sort of lighthouse feel, 
That's the, I think that's the feel it gave off, but it's not necessarily that at all by any means. Uh, and I think we're gonna go. I think we're go dark oak with it. Um, we're gonna need some spruce, which which is good because I do love me some spruce. And we need some cobblestone stairs. Luckily, I have plenty of that. Cobblestone wall. I have plenty of that. Cobblestone slabs. I have plenty of that. Uh, and then some more cobblestone here. And let's see what else do we need. We need... Shoot. That's really about it. It's it's very cobblestone. It's very... Wow. Apparently, <laughs> cobblestone is an adjective now, guys. It is very cobblestone. Um, but there's a lot of cobblestone used in it, and I think it looks okay. Um, I will not link this video that I'm talking about in the description below if you really want to go find it go find it but um, my mic was really bad back then that is the main reason I'm not linking it just because heck I, I hate the video if <laughs> and and I thought it was good at the time and I guess the build itself was good and is still good because I'm building it here uh, but it's just Oh, the audio is just so, so bad. It is really quite embarrassing. And, uh, yeah, I kind of kind of want to forget about my old videos. A lot of them were just pure trash. And and I, I will I will admit it. It's, it was just bad. So let's go ahead and let's get to building this. Hold on. Can we get a sapling or two just so we can replant these while we are waiting? Or while we go build, everything will be, you know, growing up and strong again, which would be good. But I, oh, there we go. There's one. We'll plant it right up here. And any more from this tree? Yes. Okay. There we go. Put that one right there. Okay. So let's go on out to the location where it's going to go. I have an idea for it uh, because the location I picked in Duke Builds Creatively is actually a very similar location to this. And it's just right on over here. You can see it. It's not even peeking up above the water. So really, really cool atmosphere, I think, uh, in this build. Because the whole area is just submerged. So you have to build it up. And that's what I did. I just came in here with some cobblestone. We just started spamming it. Made our own little man-made hill sort deal. All right. And then in the center of it is a three by by three sort of square so let's go ahead and just place some of these around you know make it look somewhat natural but still man-made you know like they when they were throwing it up they definitely thought about making it structurally sound which they did a fantastic job on um, but still there's a lot of you know wear and tear on a build over the entire time it's up so you know you're gonna have a little bit run down in certain places and then we're gonna come on through here we're gonna put some stairs just sort of you know some variants to make it look even more detailed um, which should be pretty cool come in here with some slabs as well the slabs I think really turn this build into something I'll uh, we'll put some right there we can put some right there and just barely poking out of water we can have that one underwater it's, don't think that's too much of an issue uh, you know just just a little bit of stuff, you know, a little bit of detail that we normally would not have. Uh, there we go. All right, so then you come on up here. We have this centerpiece here, and it seems like really, for the most part, we just run this straight up. Uh, we'll take this up about 15 blocks. I don't know. I think that's 64, so if we go um, 79, right, perfect. That's actually, that's actually exactly what we wanted, and we do not have... Um, what we need and we need a crafting table so let's make one of those real quick let's turn all that over because we do not need it and let's make some stairs we are in need of those hold on let's turn these into sticks we'll make some fence because we do need some fence uh, actually we need a little bit more than that let's not make too many which I'm worried we just really just made too many uh, but let's let's start with 18 we can work from there all right, so then we have this centerpiece up right here. We'll put some cobblestone on top of it. This might be very difficult to do, not in creative mode. I'm coming to <laughs> coming to picture. This is going to be kind of difficult to do. Uh, but we have cobblestone stairs like that. That one's upside down. 
I hope I can make it. Oh, I can drop right there. We're good. Uh, like so. Like so. Like so. I'm realizing we need more than one color wool. Because that's the whole purpose of this. Is to have like a city flag sort deal. Um, so then we go up right here. Up right here. Up right here. Up right here. Cobblestone right in there. And then it looks that we did something like this. Can I jump up onto that? I cannot. Unfortunate. It's okay, then we go like this, then we jump up on that, place that there, take that there, and then I have it, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven up from here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's just jump off. Alright, so, it is nowhere near done, guys, do not worry. Uh, but I'm gonna go sleep, I'm gonna go get some different colored wool, and we'll be back to finish this off. Alright guys, so we've gone ahead and put up some spruce and dark oak fence around each side of this all the way up, which I think looks really, really good. Um, originally on the other build, I just had spruce fence, but I'm realizing in this, it'll actually look a little bit better if we add in some dark oak as well. Because the pillar here is made out of dark oak, and I believe, could be wrong on this, but I believe in the other world, it is spruce, so... You know, if we're going to add in the dark oak, we might as go all the way. And, uh, all right, so next up is the wool. One right there, one right there, one right there. Uh, so this flag design is not mine. It's by a user of iBob, and I do have him listed on that video. So go check that out if you are wanting to see more tutorials like this. I'm pretty sure he does not do YouTube anymore. I have not checked out his channel in a while, so I really can't say too much. Uh, cause I don't, I don't know too much, but, uh, the next step is cobblestone right there and we're getting low on that. So we're going to have to start being creative here. Uh, it goes there. That is incorrect. We are totally screwing this up. Uh, so let's take a jump up here, grab that one. I think that's, that's our main culprit. Actually, that one's in the right spot. What do you know? Okay, so it's like this, a two down like so. I'm doing this reverse um, of what I built it in the other world, so it's a little bit weird to look at. Uh, so take that one out, like so, like so, like so, and like so, like so. All right, so we're onto that. Oh, my little, my little puppy is all... Oh, he's whimpering. Why is he whimpering? Oh, he's dreaming. That's so sad. Poor buddy. Okay, and then we take that one out back. Like that. Good, good, good. One, two, three. Okay, there we go. And then it's these two right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's right. And then it's that one. And then that's the flag. Okay, we're done. Perfect. Let's uh stare all this down. We can go take a nice nap, and we can come and see it for all that it is worth. I am so excited to look at this once again in a new world with shaders this time. Oh, plus, I have a better microphone now, so it sounds tremendously better. I know today's video, I've had some issues with commentary a little bit. Um, but you know, that's okay, because I think we've got something really cool right here. And uh, let's go on ahead and sleep the night away. I love how everything's coming together. Looks phenomenal. We might want to put our torch on the top. Ooh. Ooh. Because with the shaders, that actually might look phenomenal, having a torch on top. Huh. I'll have to test that out. We'll grab some torches, I think. And if it looks okay, we'll keep it. If not, uh, we'll tear it down, I guess. All right, so let's go ahead. And I don't know if I actually have any torches, so let's just get our own right here. Uh, right like that. There's 24. That'll be enough for us. I hear a spider outside. He's out back, probably on the roof now or something. Um, oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, no. We don't have a fence at the bottom there. Luckily, we have two on us, so we can go use that. So, so I guess it's not completely done. But we're almost there. Almost there. And it's looking absolutely beautiful. Mm-hmm. I love the base to it. The base is really cool. Um, in the other world, 
the base had some spruce in it, and I don't like that. So I think not having it is actually a fine adjustment. It was a, it was a very, very good change. So let's go ahead and just put a single torch on top. I was going to say we'll add some more torches other places, but I think that'll take away from the whole necessity of this. Which there really is none. There's no purpose to have this other than, hey, it kind of looks cool. <laughs> uh, but there we go. Torch on top. Perfect. And I just love these new wool colors. Um, it just adds so much beauty. And plus with the shaders, everything's even more vibrant. So it's just going to be so spe spectacular to look at from far away. So let's jump down into our boats. Yep, that's right. Okay. And let's go on over here. Maybe up. Wait, hold on. Is this swamp right here? This could have solved our issue the entire time. I knew that was swamp, but I didn't realize this entire place was right here. Oh, this is... That's good. This is probably perfect breeding grounds for slimes. Oh, there we go. Let's head on over there, because you really can't see it all. But you know the top looks nice, but I'm sure looking at it all in one. Mm-hmm. I like it. It looks like there's a piece out right there um, during the day in a certain way you look at it, but you can definitely tell it's there if you want to. Uh, and at night, it looks cool. So, yeah, very simple little build right there for today's episode. Uh, but I definitely do like it, and I hope you guys do as well. Um, I think we're going to wrap up the episode about right here, guys. So if you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like, comment down below to the link to see next. If you're new to the channel or the series, be sure to subscribe. This has been Duke. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.